。我就是起来就就早餐吃药，起初是高血压那些，然后来就那个肺喘了。每次气喘喘到进医院哦，进很多次了，现在就是没有气力了，要靠这个了。Mr. Chen is diagnosed with chronic pulmonary disease. The doctor feels that with multiple organs failing, he is not likely to sort of survive another year, and that's why he was referred to us. Our patients here have about three to six months with us. So one of the biggest challenge I find is how do we make them feel that life is still worth the living? I think it's very much about seeing them building up now a new sense of hope in end of life. As a multidisciplinary team, we have medical social worker, we have spiritual counselor. Who will join force with nurses and doctor to ensure this whole person care? A home care service like ours in HCA recognizes that the home is where a patient who is sick in this very special situation truly wants to be. Being at home gives the patient the liberty to decide what I'm going to do today, what I'm going to eat. That. To a certain extent, accords that patient that dignity to determine what his living is going to be like in the remaining days. HCA Hospice Care is the largest home hospice in Singapore, looking after almost a thousand patients at any one time. As an organisation, we believe that nobody should be charged a fee to access hospice. Equipments we loan free of charge, and all our patients in the home hospice enjoy 24/7 cover in terms of medical assistance. Well, sometimes I can't go out to see doctors. I have to go to the hospital. If I have an emergency, I can call them. They can come to my house. It's a huge help. We have two other services under our umbrella. One of which is called Star Health. It looks after children between zero to nineteen with a life-limiting illness, helping the parents to ensure that they can continue to live as a family as well as possible. The second service is a day hospice service. It provides a haven for people to come together in spite of an advanced illness to enjoy various activities with other patients and allowing caregivers some time for respite. We have a pool of volunteers, whom we have trained and who have come forward and said passionately that I want to serve. They have often helped very much in ensuring that every need, whether big or small, is taken care of. In terms of the caregiver training, a big part of the work that we do is to empower the caregiver to be competent and confident enough to handle the care. And we would also like to see ourselves engaging the community in terms of ensuring that everybody knows what palliative care can do to improve lives through outreach and through education. There was this saying from the mother of the modern hospice movement, Dame Cicely Saunders. It says, "You matter because you are, and you matter." To the end of your life, it kind of acknowledges the worth of a person, no matter whether you are diseased or ill, because you are who you are. I always say that palliative care is a very beautiful care. It is really my desire that whenever I go and visit a patient, they will naturally feel love and concern just oozing out to them. 因为他比较注意我的病情，好像很温柔这样咯，很合得来咯。If you are terminally ill and dying, all you really need is someone who tell you that I'm here to walk the rest of the journey with you. You are special, and you are not a burden to me.